From time to time I get asked how to check if a date falls between two dates or if a value falls between an upper and lower limit. Now unfortunately there's no such thing as the between function in Excel, so most people resort to the and function. But there's a clever trick using the median function, which I find easier. Let's look at both options and you can decide which you prefer. Starting with the and function, here I want to check whether the value or date in cell B5 is greater than or equal to the lower limit and is the value in cell B5 less than or equal to the upper limit? Close parentheses. Now I selected all of the cells in the column first, so I'm just going to control and enter to enter that formula in all the cells. Now, if you strictly want to check if a value or date falls between the upper and lower limits, you can omit the equal sign from the formulas. So it's and the value greater than the lower limit and less than the upper limit. Close parentheses and control enter. So you can see in this case the negative 4 here is not between the lower and upper limits, it's the same as the lower limit. Similarly the date here 31st of January is not between the 1st of January and the 31st, it's equal to the 31st and therefore the formula returns false. Alternatively we can use the median function now median returns the middle value in a set of three numbers. So if a value is between two values, then it will be returned by median. Let's take a look. It's equal median. Now I could select them all individually, but they're all in consecutive cells. So I'm just going to select the range. And I just want to check if the median of those three cells is equal to my value. And control and enter. And you can see we get the same results as the first example, that is median treats the limits as inclusive values and therefore we get true for minus 4 and true for the 31st of January. Now if you prefer to exclude the limits, that is check that the value is actually between the lower and upper limits, then we can use median, we just need to modify the value slightly. So we're going to select them individually, the value and then we need to add 1 to the lower limit and subtract 1 to the upper limit. Close parentheses, check if it equals the value and control enter. So this time negative 4 is not included because we added 1 to the lower limit and 31st of January is not included because we subtracted 1 from the upper limit. Now personally I find the median function easier to use when you're including the limits However, if you want to exclude limits, then perhaps AND is a little easier to write. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.